November 27th, and Pastor is saying to us, Trust in Him alone. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Psalm chapter 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Second Chronicles chapters 14 to 16 tells us about Asa, king of Judah, who did what was good and right in the sight of the Lord. He commanded Judah to seek the Lord and to obey the law and the commandment, and his kingdom was at peace. Once Sarah, the Ethiopian king, invaded Judah with an army of a million men and 300 chariots. Asa cried out to the Lord for supernatural intervention. The Bible says, So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa, and before Judah and Ethiopians fled. 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 12. Remarkable. In the 36th year of his reign, another event occurred. Baasha, the king of Israel, made hostile threats against Judah. But this time, instead of seeking the Lord, King Asa sought a military alliance with Benadab, the king of Syria. He took silver and gold from the treasuries of the temple and the royal palace and sent them as gifts to the Syrian king. The king of Israel abandoned his plans, but the Lord was displeased with King Asa. God sent a prophet to him to remind him of how he, God, intervened when he fought against a million soldiers from Ethiopia and other lands. Instead of listening to the message from God, the king was angry with the prophet, and he began to oppress the people. Two years later, Asa developed a severe disease in his feet, for which he sought the help of physicians, not the Lord. 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 12. Can you imagine that? After 35 years of a wealthy, successful, and productive reign, he turned his back on God. Now, he had enough money to pay mercenaries and physicians. Sadly, he died of that disease two years later. The Bible especially tells us that the reason Asa died of that disease wasn't because the disease was deadly, but because Asa refused to seek the Lord. 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 12. That's a major problem with some people today. They trust so much in their wealth and riches and have lost sight of who truly matters in their affairs because they think it's all about money. Never let anything take your attention away from the Lord. Let the Spirit have preeminence in your life. Make it a principle for yourself and one to live by, that you'll trust the Lord only and always. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I trust you wholeheartedly in all things. You alone matter, and I delight only in your instructions, in your word. I'm fully convinced that you have the best plans for my life. You are more interested in and passionate for my success than I could ever be. For this, I'm grateful and live to love you. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6 and Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Peter chapter 1 and Ezekiel chapters 37 to 38. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 15, verses 11 to 19, and 1 Chronicles chapter 27. Rhapsody of reality.